everyone. Welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, presenting me, Deborah, <laughs> with the Saturday vloggy thing. That's right. Try to catch up on all the things going went on throughout the week, and um, maybe what's coming up too. Uh, first, a little bit of life stuff. A little bit of stuff that uh, some of you may not give a hoot about, but I have had questions before, and y'all know I have a crayon problem, right? <clears throat> I have got beyond like the 124 thing of crayons. I like crayons. I really like Crayolas. Ooh, almost dropped this. I have had this for a while now. This is the Clinique Crayola Chubby Lip Crayon Box. It flips up like the old Crayola boxes. Yes, there are two missing. One is in my hand, one is in my purse. They're all different colors. Um, and each one of the little tubes looks like a Crayola. So you've got the Crayola name on it. This one I have worn down a lot. It'll move up just a little bit more. This is this one is the Chubby Stick Intense. Most of them don't have much color. It's just like a little tint, like your lips, but better. And uh, this one is called Red Violet. And it's my favorite one out of there, which is why it's almost worn out. But when they came out with this Crayola thing, yeah, I had to have it. Girl has a problem. Okay, enough about that part. <laughs> uh, on a break from work right now um it's saturday when i'm recording this and yes i'm working yes it's overtime yay for the money boo for not being having time to crochet because that's what i'd rather be doing but i can't make the money to crochet i'm not like some of y'all who can crank out stuff and, and make the money with it maybe someday in life ah. anyway i hope that you have your notifications turned on if you don't, you might miss community posts. Now, some of my community posts are just, you know, pictures of my cat being kind of silly with me, keeping me from crocheting, seems to be a theme. Um, but sometimes I share out other creators' giveaways because I want you to know, you know, we are a big community and you might miss out on something. You may be somebody you don't know about. So make sure you've got notifications turned on. I think that will even help those folks who, um, can't see the community tab because you'll get a notification of it if you click your notification it should take you to it I think I hope I know some folks have had problems seeing that so to the crochet I've been busy but I still have completed finished objects what I know right <laughs> I have a little teeny tiny chunky basket no pattern and I'm gonna show you in a second what I used to make this see it's a little basket um, Rose likes crochet collects stuff for wings and this month it's chunky baskets and toys for boys and I'm not good at either of those things but I did manage to make a little basket I'm gonna make another one really soon here in my and I will have her link down below here in my Lisa Ladybird merch bag hello yes go check her out I have got balls of oh what in the blazes is it called hang on my apologies for the jump um I have taken some of this feather fringe yarn it's a mainstays product and you see I got it on clearance because your girl loves some clearance um it is called it's feather fringe yarn what's it made out of i think it's cotton no it's 100 percent polyester machine wash cold dry flat blah 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 do not bleach they're calling it a three weight this stuff is super thin but has that floofy fringe which makes it a pain to work with it makes it a pain to pull off the skein absolutely which is why i took a bunch of the colors and separated them out into yarn balls and then I put four strands together in different colors to do this. It's got the little minty green. It has a gray. There's a white. Oh, I'm showing you white. Everybody knows what white yarn looks like. And there's a purple that I think is in here. Yep, a purple. And I don't think I have any of the pink in here, but that's what I've done. It's really soft and squishy. It feels so nice. I think that it would make an awesome cowl for somebody who wears cowls. But um, this is what I'm trying to do with it right now. I might make another bigger basket out of it. 
I mean, heck, if somebody doesn't need a basket, but they've got a little tiny baby, maybe this could fit on their head like a little hat. Don't know. Just kind of winging it, as one does. Or as I do, anyway. Uh, another finished object. I've actually got two that kind of match. Uh, Gary from Urban Yarns is doing a make-along of his Bush Tracker beanie. He has the knitted version, um, which he's got a tutorial for, and I'll have him and, and the, and the make-along listed below, and if I remember, I'll stick it up here wherever it goes. Um, he, also, you can use Crystal Bag of Days, sort of tribute to the knitted Bush Tracker beanie in crochet version, which is what I did, and I have made two of them. One in solid blue for these parts and a variegated color here, and the other one just the opposite, the solid for the herringbone looking uh, stitches and the variegated for the ribbed stitches. Now the yarn that I used is Heat Wave that I picked up at Ollie's. This is a full skein. I totally played yarn chicken with the last one I did. I have not tapped into my full skein yet. Uh, this one is called Water Park. I love the colors. I love the colors of this. It is so stinking pretty. It is, I believe, 100% acrylic. It's a medium four. Yeah, 100% acrylic, 100 grams in the ball, 150 meters. And yeah, I used all of it doing these two hats. So the variegated on that and the variegated on this. And... The uh, solid color, of course, probably has more on the ball because that's what yarn companies do to us, folks. Yes, this one is 100 grams. It is 181 meters. And <laughs> this is all I have left out of the solid color. This one is just called Blue Skies. I love that blue. It is so pretty. And I do have one more ball of the variegated, and this is all I have left of this. So I'll probably make a different hat out of it. Um... Those, these are actually going to be getting sent to someone who collects things for charity stuff. So, yeah, for people in need of warm hats and clothes. Around here, we don't really need that many warm hats, but gosh, that's pretty. Gary, thank you for coming up with the Bush Tracker and Crystal Bag a day. Thank you for coming up with a crochet version for the rest of us who can't work that knitting magic. That is all that I have for completed foes, you know, it's... Like Neva says, it's a faux down. That's all my faux down has today. But I have got whips, y'all. This is my pick and mix cow. I have finished the rows for the week for the stitch of the week, but I have not finished putting my main color on to wait for next week yet. I've got about a row and a half done. Our stitch this week was, sometimes it's known as the camel stitch, I guess, and it's a half double crochet in the third loop however you want to say it it looks it's I love the texture of it I'm gonna remember that and probably use it for lots of stuff because I really like it I have been having fun learning all kinds of new stitches I did a loop stitch y'all did you see that that was last week's I managed to do loops hey hey I had never done that before so yeah I'm enjoying it did some weird bobbles that were probably not right, but I did them anyway. And yeah, this mine blanket is not going to be big. I have made mine rather small and my rows are staying rather small because this is going to go over the back of a big brown recliner that I have in my living room. So it'll sit back there and just be kind of colorful and textured and it's my chair. So it can be my colorful textured blanket. I'm kind of hoping this color comes up again soon because it's pick and mix. There's a spinny, there's actually there are two spinny willy things involved. One for the color, one for the stitch. So I'm waiting for this one to come up again because I really like that burnt orange color. I like them all actually. I wanted it kind of neutral to go with, you know, that chair. So yeah, despite my love of blue and jewel tones, I like all colors. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, this is a top that I made. Um, I made it bigger and boxier. It's actually the America Tank by On The Hook Crochet, Miss Jeannie. Everybody has heard of this by now. Make sure you check her out. She doesn't write patterns like regular, like, you know, 1SC, blah, blah, blah. She talks you through it in her patterns as if somebody was walking through a tutorial with you. Yeah, that helps me so much because I have a really hard time sussing out the directions on a regular pattern. I can read it, 
but I get lost easily. Does that make sense? Okay, this going back in this bag so that I don't lose it because it is still attached to that yarn. And one more whip. Y'all have seen it before. I haven't managed to get that in there. Okay. Um, got this hook in it. Sorry, I remember what size because I'm not actually using this particular hook anymore. It's the hubby blankie or the hubby blanket. I haven't made it very far this week. I did tell you I was busy. Um, that was where I was and I have two rows and a third row started, I think. Yeah, started a third one. So I've almost got this patch of dark gray done and then will come a red and a black and then a light gray. And it's getting big. I'm happy that I'm making some progress on it. I keep finding so many projects to do though. This kind of gets pushed to the back and that kind of makes me sad because I am enjoying doing it. I'm enjoying seeing my progression in crochet. When I started this at the beginning of the year, I was still an uber ultra mega beginner. I'm still a beginner. I'm still a noob. But I have made a lot of progress. <laughs> my stitches look better. I, I'm just better at it now. And yeah, the hubby says, no, no. He says, don't ever rip it out, leave it. He likes it. He, he thinks it's pretty cool to be able to see it that way. Oh, and it will have a border and everything on the outside when I'm done. There is no pattern for this. Beginner crochet brain. Apparently I like to just wing it, even though I'm a real, real beginner. Okay, that is in there. Just to let you know, I have got some plans brewing in this brain of mine. I know it's scary, right? Um, of a temperature blanket for next year. I'm not just gonna do stripes because I want the low temperature and the high temperature for every day represented. I know, I'm making more work for myself, but I think it's gonna be fun and it's not gonna be as ginormous as you might think. What I'm thinking is little squares, like two rounds. The inner round would be the low, the outer round would be the high, and then I would join it with another color and probably join as I go along, maybe have a few extra squares to label the month or something and maybe, you know, stitch on January, whatever. Um, the hubby had an idea. He said, if it snows, because we're in Georgia, we don't get a lot of snow. If it snows, you make it white. <laughs> the whole square ends up white. I'm like, okay, that could be kind of cool. So I haven't picked a color scheme yet. I haven't tested some squares to see how big it'll be and how I'll have to arrange it. I've got grid paper though. I'm, I can do it. I just have to be able to sit down and do it. You know how that is? But it's all up here moving around. Also, not only up there moving around, but actually in progress and moving along, um, I am going to have a flip through of the new Annie's Crochet calendar for next year. I got that in the mail. And uh, that'll be coming out Sunday. If you're watching this on Saturday, you'll see it tomorrow. And also, I'm going to start doing flip throughs and look throughs of different crochet books. Some recent, but probably not very recent, and some really old. We're just going to look through and see if there's anything fun to see. I love looking through the books, even if I don't necessarily make the patterns out of them. Yeah, still kind of fun. But anyway, do keep an eye on the community tab. Do turn your notifications on because you don't know what you're going to miss. Heck, I don't know what I'm going to miss. There, there's always stuff going on. This is a fun community and there's a lot of people doing great things out there. And I thank you for coming by today. I really do appreciate it. I would love it if you'd leave me a like. If you're not subscribed, hey, hit the subscribe, turn on the bell, and hopefully I will see you very soon. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you'd like to exchange postcards, that's right, actual snail mail postcards, y'all. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, if I can send mail to you and you can send a mail to me, just a letter or a postcard, then we can do that. I would love to get a postcard from wherever you are and I will definitely send you one as well. That information is in the description box below too. Thank you so much. I will see you very soon. Bye y'all.